Today is uh, Wednesday the 19th and the trend of the market is sloppy but it's very clear. We're below a declining five day moving average. It's guilty till proven innocent. We look at it and say, is it, does it have the potential to bounce at certain levels, such as the conjunction of those two volume weighted average price levels? And it certainly had the potential, but that potential failed and with it came uh, down to the next level, uh, the volume weighted average price level off of this low and the one below that is here. These are just levels of interest. I'm not trying to call the bottom. I've never tried to call the bottom. It's always several days late when I identify a bottom. So the trend is what we're after. And again, that trend is clear. It's lower. What we might end up have, have happening is a slight undercut of this prior low and then a, a turnaround. So a fearful flush, in other words, below that. The other thing to consider is that the uh, measured move, if we take a look at the height of this, let's just call it 480 down to this low, which is 456. Let's call it 457. That's 23 points. If we take 23 points off of this high, that gives us a price objective of 450. And that's pretty much right on with that level. So we're pretty close to it right now. And it seems as though, you know, we're getting a little bit oversold. We don't have heavy volume on the downside yet. It'd be nice to see some capitulation volume with a, you know, big bar, something that looks like this, one or two of those. But, you know, because the biggest volume tends to occur near the turning points. And that's, you know, a consistent uh, message that, you know, these short term turning points are where the biggest volume is found. People always wait for volume or they bullshit themselves into not selling because they say, well, it's down on light volume. The biggest volume comes near the turning points as we get that panic. So I think that 450 ish and perhaps down towards 448 and a half ish is kind of the level where uh, just we get an oversold bounce within a downtrend. That's the key. It's still in a downtrend, as is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ broke below that prior support. I had suggested there's a possibility we could see a squeeze come from there. It didn't occur. And of course, it was only a short term potential bounce anyways, with a declining five day moving average on the bigger time frame. The volume weighted average price from that May low obviously failed. Now it looks like we're headed for a test of the 200 day moving average. If we took a look at a similar measured move, we would take this height over here, which is 404. Let's just call it 404. We'll be conservative. And then down to here, we'll call it 370. So that'd be 34 points. We take 34 points off of this high, which is 90. So 34 and minus 90 is uh, what, 56? So 356 seems you know pretty far down you never know it's not a price target it's a level of interest just like these volume weighted average price levels are and just like that 200 day moving average is just because it held in the past is no guarantee that we'll hold again now and again below a declining five day moving average we always give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers if you try to make a turnaround trade if you try to pick a, a low you have to get out super quick. That's the whole point of guilty till proven innocent below the declining five day moving average. And then as the, I'm sorry, the Russell 2000, you know, that prior support held his resistance yesterday morning and the week to date volume weighted average price. This market is unable to get it back above. We had looked at this volume weighted average price level from uh, anchored from this low right in here that has failed to hold. It still is possible that we're headed down towards this level, which is 198. Again, we're getting deeply oversold. It seems like it's down too much. There's no such thing as down too much when there's still sellers in the market. Below a declining five day moving average, you will get rallies. You will get rallies above the five day moving average. But when the five day moving average is declining, it's guilty until proven innocent. Newer subscribers, please pay attention to that. It is one of the primary things you will hear me say throughout the year uh, in, in for forever. Basically, uh, I've been saying it for the last 20 years or so. The direction of the five day moving average is where we form our intermediate term bias. If you don't understand that or disagree, you probably shouldn't be trading, is my opinion. Semiconductors down through that low end of the of this uh, range. Now this group, you know, do you want to sell it short down here? We could take a look again at a measured move and see that. Wait, let's just do this. We'll just cheat and we'll draw a, a line vertical that looks like this. Then we'll take that line and we'll move it over here. And basically you can see we're right on that. So the height of this from, from the uh, bounce high 
uh, we're basically on it. So, you know, possibility that we'll get a bounce in here, but, uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing uh, certainly saying that it is. It's bouncing, you know, it's, it's right at the volume weighted average price from this level. That's a potential bounce level. Uh, this is also a potential bounce level at 275. The fact is we're below a declining five-day moving average, stuck below the week-to-date volume-weighted average price. And you can see how when it hit that two-day volume-weighted average price, this is the setup we talk about all the time in the individual stocks. That is, you know, if it rallies up to the prior day's volume-weighted average price and then breaks down below today's volume-weighted average price, that's a short with a stop up here. And look how well it would have worked in that index. So, you know, we've... I, I've been talking about actually the Russell 2000 as a short too. If you're still short in here, lower your stop. That's the, the way you trade these things. Listen to the message of the market, not to people on TV, certainly not to people on Twitter. There's so much misinformation, bad information on Twitter. It blows my mind constantly. The biotechs, as we know, broken support in here did act as resistance and look what we're seeing happen just a free fall let's do this again we'll cheat to find our measured move height the height of this uh, that's a to b this is b to c then c to d would then bring us to where well if we take this height put it here that would still imply that we have room down towards 128 seems crazy but we're in a downtrend if if you didn't sell at 160 and someone told you we'd be at 130 three months later, you'd probably think that was crazy as well. We're getting deeply oversold, but there's zero evidence the buyers are here. We close exactly on the lows for the day. So it just remains a piece of garbage market. Forget about all the COVID news and the companies that are related to that. People are selling these stocks. That's what matters. Only price pays. The financials have failed miserably. We were, you know, a, a classic, and, and I pointed this out last Thursday, a classic buy the rumor, sell the news. I certainly didn't expect it was going to get smashed like this. But again, when we have it below the declining five-day moving average after that first day's uh, decline, it's guilty till proven innocent. We're not interested in buying it. And here we are, the people who bought it because they thought the banks had good earnings reports and that sort of thing, they're losing money unnecessarily so because the path of least resistance in the intermediate term is lower. Now, on the daily time frame, maybe we find buyers at this volume weighted average price. It's also in here a prior band of resistance and, of course, this prior support. So this has been an important level. Will it continue to be? I don't know. I'm certainly not going to stick a bit in there and just blindly buy into a perceived level, not when there's still massive sellers in here. I mean, look at how this thing gapped up today and failed miserably. That was the high of the day. Imagine being the dummy who bought on the open all excitedly thinking, hey, banks are turning around rather than looking at the direction of the five day moving average and say, hey, maybe I'm not going to short it up there, but I'm certainly not going to be a buyer. That's the right way to look at the market. Energy names continue to hold up the uh, 30, 15 minute time frame here. I don't see any, you know, potential for a bigger uh, profit, bout of profit taking unless we get below and hold below probably about 6360. If it does that, I think it puts the year to date volume weighted average price into play down under that 62 ish level.